Good morning children. Today we will see the flower dissection of pea flower. It belongs to the family Leguminaceae. You can also call it as Fabaceae. In this family members, the flowers, they have the stalk. So pedicellate flower and it is also a solitary flower, purple in color. Pea flower may be pink in color also. But the member that I am showing is Clitoria alba or Clitoria violacea since it is violet in color. It has bract. It is a bracteate flower because it has the bract. You can see the bract over here. This is bract. One bract over here. Another bract over here. Two bracts are there. So we call it as bracteate flower. We call it as bracteate. I am removing the bract like this. Two bracts are present in this flower. So bracteate. Now we will see the calyx. See this calyx. The unit of calyx is sepal. Five sepals are present. How to open the sepal? Just tear it with the help of needle and open it. See this is in gamosepalous condition because all the sepals are united. See in this case all the sepals are united. So the condition is gamosepalous. All the five sepals you can see in this. I am inverting it and keeping. Just you can check it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 sepals are there. 5 sepals. Now we will see the petals. See, these petals are 5 in number. Sepals are also 5 in number. Here one big petal that is present is called a standard petal. And then after that you will see the wing petal and then the keel petal. Let us remove the petals one after another. So, let me take the standard petal. This is the standard petal which is very big in size. Standard petal. Next to that, let me remove the wing petal. It is like a wing. So, wing petal. Two in number. See? Wing petal. Inside that, you can see the keel petal. This is keel petal. Let me remove the wing petal first. One wing petal which is colorful. See, it is purple in color. This is also I am removing. They are coming out nicely. Wing petal. And then your keel petal. They are united at the base. They are united at the base. See, they are also like this. Five petals are there. And now you can see the andresium. In this andresium, one stamen is separate and the remaining nine are making a bundle. So the condition is called as diadelphus condition. You can see one stamen is separate and the remaining nine are making a bundle. This condition is called as diadelphus condition. This one stamen I am removing and I am keeping it aside. And the remaining nine I am taking it out. See remaining nine and in the middle we can see the gynesium. I am removing the gynesium also. See here the gynesium is coming out. And this is your stamen. Stamens are all united. Nine stamens are united like this here. You can see diadal first condition. After that your gynesium. Gynesium has ovary style and stigma and it is feathery stigma. You can see the hair like outgrowth. Feathery stigma it has got and it will be located like this. Your ovary is right angle to the style like this. It will be while making the diagram. In this flower we are not seeing clearly but in P it can be seen nicely. This is ovary style and stigma. Feathery stigma it has got. Now we have to take the LS and TS of ovary. Since it is so small, you will be able to observe it under the microscope only. But instead of that, I am using the fruit in which you can see the marginal placentation. See, this is a member of Leguminaceae family. Its fruit I have taken in longitudinal section. You will observe the section like this. In LS of ovary, you will get a structure like this. 
if you are taking the um, ts means the section will be like this the section i'll show you see see instead of uh, ovary i have taken the fruit this is green gram in this you can see a single ovule like this you will be seeing one ovule inside the locule one ovule inside the locule you can take several sections like this inside the locule one ovule present you can see the placenta also nicely and like this this is the flower of green gram this is the flower of green gram in this also calyx present and the petals you see petals are also standard petal wing petal and keel petal this is your standard petal wing petal and keel petal all the standard petal and then wing petal and keel petal all the three varieties are present and you can see the stigma over here in the stigma you can see the turning that is 90 degree it is twisted that you can see see twisted condition you can see it now we will see the yellow soft flower how to take the yellow soft flower take the plate and from the from where we will start from the pedicel we will start from the pedicel we will start from here you cut it one half of the bract one half of the sepal one half of the petal and rhesium and gynesium should be there in ls half of standard petal should be there that is important like this you will place it ls of flower half of standard petal half of wing petal and half of keel petal including your stamens and your gynesium everything should be there half of all the floral part should be there the portion that is clear you will show it to the external examiner after keeping it in a wet filter paper and next lilyaceae family we will see in the next class